up you in the spirit that's where i want to be we worship we worship you in the spirit we worship you in the truth we worship you in the spirit that's what i Take a moment. Come on, take a moment to praise him. Come on, we sing the song, Enter the Holies of Holies. We say, Enter the Holies of Holies. Point at yourself and say, That's where I want to be. Enter the Holies of Holies. That's where I want to be. Come on, lift your voice and praise him. Come on, take a moment and praise him. Come on, take a moment and praise him. If you know that he's worthy, if you know he's mighty, if you know he's an on time God, if you know he can do the impossible, I dare you to take a moment and lift, lift him up in this place. Lift him up in this place. Come on. Lift him up. We got to lift him up. Come on and lift him up because he's worthy. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. Lift your voice and tell all. Into the holies of holies. That's where I want to be. Into the holies of holies. That's where I want to be. Into the holies. Hey! 
Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Come on, take a moment and praise him all in this place, God. Come on and glorify him. Come on, put those hands together. Come on, if you love him, come on and praise him. Come on and clap your hands with me. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hallelujah. Come on and clap those hands. Clap. Come on, we might me. as well have church in there. Clap your hands. Clap your hands with me. Come on and clap those hands. Clap your hands with me. Come on and clap those hands. Clap your hands with me. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, church. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. I feel the atmosphere shifting. Come on. Oh, do your dance. Do your dance with Say me. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Your neighbor and leap for joy. Leap for joy with me. Leap for joy. Leap for joy. Leap for joy with me. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, turn. Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say it like you mean to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. 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 Praise God up. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God up.
Let us come down. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody in there by the captos here. Come on, captos. Hey. If you're going to praise them, captos. Hey. Come on, captos. Hey. Lift your voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say it like you mean it, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say it like you mean it, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift him high, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise him now, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Miracles coming, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Miracles coming, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Deliverance coming, hallelujah. Breakthrough's coming, hallelujah. hallelujah. It's coming right now, hallelujah. hallelujah. It's coming right now, hallelujah. hallelujah. It's coming right now, hallelujah. hallelujah. It's coming right Woo! now, hallelujah. hallelujah. Reach up, grab it, 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 Praise him now, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 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 Don't you miss it, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't miss your blessing, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't miss the power, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't miss the glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't miss the glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you miss your blessing, hallelujah. Don't you miss your prayer? Hallelujah. Don't you miss your opportunity? Hallelujah. 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 Come on and clap to him. Hey. Come on and praise him. What are you turning to? Uh? He opened the eyes of the... Come on, sing it. There's no one like you. No one like you. No one like you. Enter into the ashes you rise. Out of the ashes. Out of the ashes you rise. There's no There's one. And if I got it, 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 and if I got
moving. He's still proving. He's still moving. Just how great he is. Hallelujah. 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 God, we will hear your voice over the voices of the enemy, Father. Oh, God, amplify your voice in this house. Hallelujah. With God, you can. With God, you can. Hey, come on. With God, you can. Yeah. Come on. Come on. You know, I told y'all, we're not going to hide behind the music at Circle of Hope. Come on. Hallelujah. If you believe that he's still saving, if you believe that he's still moving, if you believe that he's still healing, hallelujah, I want you to go ahead and begin to praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Exalt his name. Hallelujah. Above your circumstance. Exalt his name above your illness. Hallelujah. You're just saying, if God be for us, who can stand against us? Now believe it. Believe it. Come on, that's it. Come on, believe it. That's it. You said you want to enter into the holies of holies. Believe it. Oh, Father. Oh, Father. Oh, Father. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, God, I believe you over that too. See, right now the enemy is trying to put things in your head. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he's greater than that too. Mighty are the works of your hand. 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 Your name. do something a little different today we do welcome you to circle of hope but we're going to welcome in the presence of the lord hallelujah hallelujah i want you to go and find groups of three of people that you do not know hallelujah try to have groups of people that you do not know one or two mix it up hallelujah hallelujah i want you to find somebody in the group that you don't know groups of three come on come on Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. We're seeking after. We're welcoming God in. You're holy. Come on. You're holy. You're holy. You're holy. You're holy. You're holy. Hallelujah, Jesus. If we got to do four, that's fine. If you got to do more, that's four. That's fine. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. And I want you to take just a few Jesus, seconds. I want you to know their names. Names are important. I want you to know their names. Put faces with names. I want you to know their names. Know their names. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I want you to know their names. And then, after you know their names, I want you to begin to pray. Hallelujah. I want you to begin to pray. Sometimes we want to know the business. That's not important. I want you to begin to pray. And as we all pray on one accord, hallelujah, God is going to meet each and every one of you in that circle, okay? Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God, we're coming to you, Father. Hallelujah, because you are the only help that we know, God. God, hallelujah, you are mighty, you are strong, God. God, you are more than the world that is against us, oh, Father. Hallelujah, we're coming to you unified, oh, God. Oh, God, going after you, oh, God, because we need your strength, God. We need your power. We need your help. Hallelujah, Jesus, we can't make it on our own, Father. Hallelujah. I don't know what the ones need in my circle, God, but God, what I do know is that you're mighty. What I do know is that you're strong. What I do know, hallelujah, God, is that 
you, oh God, to conquer all things, oh Father. God, that there is no limit in what you can do, God. God, we're asking that you encourage, oh God, your people, oh God, as they link up together, Father. God, that you move mightily, oh Father. God, that seeds are planted, seeds are watered, oh God. Hallelujah. God, that someone is filled with the Holy Ghost, oh God. God, that they're not intimidated about what it looks like around them, God. But God, that they come today seeking you, Jesus. Seeking you, Jesus. Seeking you, Jesus. God, we plead the blood against any distraction. We plead the blood against anything that tries to come. Oh, God, hallelujah. And take this moment. Father, do it for your name's sake. Do it for your name's sake, God. Oh, Father. Oh, Father. Oh, Father. Oh, Father. Oh, Father, move, Jesus. Move, Jesus. Move, Jesus. Oh God, because of this prayer, heal families, God. Because of this prayer, God, bring deliverance, God. Because of this prayer, God, hallelujah, begin to move the mountains that are in their way, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, Father, oh, Father, oh, Father, oh, Father, God, we're going for a sound that you like to hear, Father. Hey, God, oh, God, the sound that, oh, God, makes the captives free, oh, Father. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, the only one that we can depend on, the only one that we can trust in. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, the rock of my salvation. Oh, God, because of this prayer, God, because of this prayer, because of this prayer, because of this prayer. Hallelujah. And when you finish, I want your group to begin to praise the Lord. Hallelujah for what he's going to do, for what he did. Hallelujah. Because he's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. You're 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 mighty. Still 
proving. You're still proving. You're still proving. You're still proving. You're still proving. Just how great you are. How great you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. We want them to be pleased with our praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't let this great service go forth. And you didn't give him what he deserves. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. How great is our God. How great is our God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. How great is our God. Hallelujah. God, we thank you, God, for your mercy and grace, God, that has extended upon us yet another day. Hallelujah. Go ahead and give God a hand clap of praise for how good he is. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you are a great God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just a few quick announcements for this Sunday afternoon. We do have prayer call every Monday at 5.30 a.m. and every Thursday at 10.30 p.m. If you would like to connect with us, please reach out. We'll give you the phone number to get connected with us. And on Tuesdays, we do have Bible study here in person at 7 p.m. So if you'd like to come join us, please come in person. Our teens, they do have their prayer call every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. So please reach out to Sister Kim Campbell if you like your teenager to get connected. And our men, they do have their prayer call every Wednesday as well at 8 o'clock p.m. via Zoom. Please reach out to Elder Nehemiah if you would like to get connected with him as well. Also, as a reminder, on Friday, we are having our marriage ministry uh, here. Um, so if you like to get connected, please reach out to Lady Valerie. We'll give you the information. And on Saturday, our sisters, we will be having our sisters brunch at Metro Diner at 10 a.m. on Saturday. So any sisters that want to connect, please come out. And on Sunday, we will have praise in the park this Sunday. No, sorry, the 24th. Sorry, the 24th. Be excited on the 24th. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. We're excited for the praise in the park, huh? Yeah, that's going to be good. It's going to be fun. All right. Uh, we have committees and things we are establishing for our praise in the park. And so uh, it's going to be a nice shelter. Some park. We have T-shirts. All right. That Sister Campbell, wave your hand, Sister Campbell. Wave your hand. Wave your hand, Sister Campbell. Wave your hand. So she's making T-shirts, all right, and $10, all right? And so um, if you want a T-shirt, get with her after service and get her cash app or whatever, cash. And so she's making church for us. Um, like I said, uh, nice shelter, um, restrooms, nice restrooms, not portalettes, <laughs> all right? <laughs> so it's going to be nice. It's going to be a Psalm Park in their corporate shelter on the 24th, y'all. And so it's going to be at 12 o'clock. It's not going to be any Sunday school or anything, but we're going to get out there. We're going to have a great time. They have grills and stuff, so we're going we're gonna to grill up. They have playgrounds, volleyball courts, tennis courts, basketball courts. They have all of that stuff out there. So we're going to just spend a day, all right? And so it's a, good, it's a great opportunity to get some of them points on that, uh, on that sheet, right? So bring somebody, bring, bring some family out to the park. Uh, we're looking forward to having a great time, all right? Here, I, I want to do this really quickly. All right, y'all know we don't pump, beg, or prime, but we want to get this out the way. I, I feel what God has given us for today, amen, um, it's going to be explosive at the end, all right? And so we want to get this uh, an opportunity to sow, amen, all right? Don't get quiet on me now, all right? Don't, ain't no music. Somebody amen. How many want to be blessed in this place, y'all, all right? Y'all, um, our, our, our partnership, our seed, all right, everybody say my gift, my gift. is a seed. See, our gifts that we've been given, even last night, yesterday, uh, the brothers and, uh, and the sisters, and those of us that went out downtown last night, you know, and we're serving meals. Sister Tia, she cooked up, or didn't cook up, she, she um, put together a really nice meal for everyone, right? And as we're down there and we're praying for folks and, you know, just connecting with people, you know, there's always somebody that is looking for God. And, and so I'm grateful for our brothers that were with us last night. We were able to pray for a brother and... And he was just talking, y'all. He was just talking about different things that's going on in his life. And long story short, amen. He began to call on the name of the Lord, all right? Psalms 18, and when you call on the name of the Lord, you sh God will save you. God will meet you where you are. God will see about your needs, all right? 
he began to cry out, and we began to pray, and we began to gather around him, all right, and we began to hold him up, amen, and, and before you know it, amen, he repented, and he believed the gospel, and God <laughs> filled him with the baptism of the Holy Ghost right there in that, right there, right there, y'all, <laughs> and, and you know, you know, some people that, you know, experience different things in life and, you know, kind of involve themselves in different things. And he began to talk about how he said, I ain't never been this high before. <laughs> he said, I ain't never been this high before. And he said, I feel like I can fly, didn't he? <laughs> he said, I feel like I can fly. And I said, I said, yeah, I mean, you're going to fly on that great getting up morning. But don't try to, you know, don't, don't try to get on top of a building right now, right? But, you know, hey, but he felt so light. He felt so free. Because the power of God came and, and, and saturated his whole heart, all right? And so, and so every time we sow, we're able to do these kinds of outreaches and, and, and be a help and a blessing to folks and families. And this is what it's all about. So let's go ahead and stand to our feet. Stand to our feet and, and, and allow, uh, you know, Those of you that are watching online, we, we bless the Lord for you all that supports the work of the ministry. You see those multiple ways to give online via Cash App, Give the Fly, our, our Ven, Venmo. <laughs> all right. And so here, even here, uh, our Cash App handle is that dollar sign circle of hope FLC. And so if you want to give Cash App, we appreciate that. If you want to give Venmo or Give the Fly, it is circle of hope FLC. All right, at gmail.com. And so we bless the Lord for you all. Amen. Here, uh, you know, for our visitors, 98% of us give online. So only the babies give in the offering. So please give our babies a dollar. Let's help them uh, be blessed as well. So, y'all, it's real quiet in here. Y'all tired of praising? Y'all praised him real hard. All right. Uh, I know y'all just hold y'all just holding it in, huh? All right. All right, let's give our babies a dollar and let's be ready. Let's come around here and 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 so in this offering, y'all. Amen. I know I told you everybody gives online. Who here? I'm about to bless somebody. Who wanna be blessed? Who who need who need a tangible offering? Here, come on, man. Here, you you going here, bro. Get go ahead. There we go. There we go. We don't got no offering music. That's what it is, huh? <laughs> we need some offering music and some marching music. Look, y'all, it's all good. Yeah, I want to get to a place, y'all, and for real, where we don't even, where it's just the automatic, right? Some things ought to be automatic. Like, you want to be blessed, and I'm just going to give. And we, you know, we just give whenever God blesses us to give. And, and, and a lot of us are getting to that place. This is why we don't pump or prime. We don't take two, three offerings. We don't beg for nothing, right? Because God has been faithful to us. And so we thank you all. Let's clap our hands for the opportunity to sow. Go ahead. Dick, don't our Dick look good up here? He, he look good, man, you know. He growing up, he used to come in tank tops and, and Jordans, and now he, you know, God's been elevating him. He got the suit on. Y'all, let's clap up for him, y'all. He, 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 look. This brother, I, I keep trying to tell y'all, the Bible says give honor where honor is due. See, while y'all sleeping and, and we doing our own thing, y'all, he, he is in here. He's cleaning up, setting up, putting things together. Every, every, this stuff don't just automatically happen, right? It's because you have people like Deke who want to be blessed, and he's consistent, and I don't have to worry about, man, I thought, is everything going to be set up today? All right? is every, and, and his assistant, Jordan, right? And and, um, and, and my armor bear, Kobe, right, they, they're in here, right, because they love the house of God and they love serving. This is what ministry is. That's ministry, all right? And so um, thank the Lord for that. Go ahead and bless this offering. Amen. Amen. Before we get into the word, I, my brother over here, he, he just got a testimony. He want to share real quick. My brother, this, brother Michael. Amen. Johnson, I'm going to share his. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody say praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. 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 Psalms say, when I think about the goodness of Jesus, 
and not some of what he done for me, but all that he done for me. My soul cries out hallelujah and thank God for saving me. Hallelujah. We should be excited today because God gave us an opportunity to be in his presence. You know, um, yesterday, uh, Pastor D put out a call to come down and serve the homeless. And all week, the enemy had been trying to bombard me with different things and trying to keep me. And, and, you know, so he put it out in the group text, and I wasn't answering because, you know, I was fighting warfare with the enemy, you know. So finally, I, I, I texted him that day, and I said, I'm coming. You know, I'll be down there. And we got down there, and, you know, we, we um, all got out. We prayed, and we began to feed the homeless. And we began to give them, and, you know, and they're lining up, and they're getting it. And they're just so grateful for the little things that you give them. And God said, you know, they, they, they're grateful for a sandwich. And we that got many things are, are ungrateful. He said, that's the kind of heart we got to have when we come into God's presence, just to be thankful for what he's given us. You know, these people sleep outside. You know, they don't have a roof over their head. You know, they, they, they go in here and there trying to worry about their safety. But we go to homes that we can lock the door. You know, we can, we can rest assured. And God said, this is how I want my people to be humble. I want y'all to be humble like them and hungry like them that, you know, this, this guy, he said, this is the best meal I had all day. And I'm thinking a sandwich? You know, I mean, I'm going home and I'm eating what I want to eat. And he's desiring to have that sandwich. So a lot of times when ministries are ministries are put forth and Pastor D calls you out to do that, you know, you get something out of it. We get something out of it. And what God was showing me is we have to be humble and be thankful because that we, we, we can find ourselves on that side of, of the road. We, you know, like he said about the brother, you know, he was he was just pouring out on us all the stuff he'd been through. And he even said, I even attempted, he even, I even contemplated suicide. He said, I wanted to end my life. What could make a person get that down where they, you know, where they don't have hope of living anymore? But that's what the church is for. That's what we're supposed to be out here doing. We're supposed to be out here encouraging folks. It's not about us. It's about Jesus. And that's what we represent, Jesus. You know, you never know what somebody's going through, whether it be your brother. I was telling I was telling Brother Joe, I was talking to him today, how we need each other. You know, you never see witches and warlocks battling within each other. They got one mission and one goal, and that's to destroy the movement of God. So why us as a body of Christ, why can't we come together and say, hey, for God I live, for God I die. Whatever distractions may come, I want to be found faithful doing what God called me to do. I don't care who gets the praise up down here. All I want to know when I get to there, I want him to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Because there's one thing I learned about man. Man giveth, man can take it to love. But whatever you do for God is always going to be yours. Glory. Let's go ahead and stand to our feet. Let's stand to our feet. If you got anything out of that, let's be grateful. Let's be grateful. Everybody lift your hands as we're going to get right into the word of the Lord. We're going to ask God even right now, all right? Lift your hands, close your eyes, and we're just going to talk to the Lord, all right? Create in me a clean heart, all right? Renew a right spirit, a right mentality, a right attitude, right? A right perspective on things, all right? Come on, let's open our mouths and talk to God right now. God's going to speak to us this afternoon. God's going to help us. Amen. But we want to make sure, amen, God allowed uh, Elder Michael Johnson to come up here and, and, and to bring things back into focus for us and understanding how we ought to be appreciative of life and, and what God has done for us. The, uh, Thessalonians says, in everything, give thanks, all right? We ought to give thanks in everything. Hallelujah. You may not, you may not be able to go to Ruth Chris after church, amen, but you might have some ramen noodles at home, all right? That's better than what a lot of people have, all right? You may not have a five star hotel or pillow at home amen amen but you're not sleeping on the concrete all right and everything give thanks let's give god thanks right now come on let's thank him let's thank him you may not be where you want to be come on but but you ought to thank god hallelujah hallelujah come let's open our mouths come on people of god come on god's going to help us today i'm telling you 
I'm not going to preach long today at all, but I'm telling you, we better get, we ought to get ready to receive all that God wants from us even right now, all right? What, we ought to receive it. We got we to gotta cultivate. We got to break up the follow ground of our hearts. Come on, let's break up the follow ground of our heart. We break it up through thanksgiving. We break it up. Come on. Our hearts, some of our hearts are hardened because of life and circumstances and disappointments and, and, and issues and challenges. And it's, so it's hard. And so we break up that follow ground. We're able to get down and allow the seed of, the, of God's word to get down through praise and through worship and through adoration. This is why we were singing a song. Your name is above all names. Your name is above disappointment. Your name is above failure. Your name is above condemnation. Your name is above everything that is hindering us, everything that is challenging us, everything that brings us heaviness. Your name is above it. Somebody shout Jesus. Come on, shout Jesus like you believe his name is bigger than, stronger than. Come on, our God is bigger. He's stronger. He's wiser than any other. I need somebody to get with this right now. Come on, hallelujah. Please. We don't want this word that's about to go forth. Amen. We don't want it to fall by the wayside. We don't want it to fall in thorny places. We don't want it to get choked out. We want it to fall on good ground. Yes, yes, yes. If it's going to fall on good ground, you got to do your part, all right? You got to do your part, hallelujah. And we do our part by lifting up our hands. Come on. We're lifting up our hands and we're opening up our hearts to God with my hands lifted up, all right? And my mouth has to be full of praise, all right? Full of praise and a heart of thanksgiving. And we have a mentality, a mindset that I will bless your holy name. I need somebody to bless them to this afternoon. Somebody bless them. Bless them. Lord, I love you. Well, I don't know what that means. That means just telling Lord, I love you. I thank you. God, God, you're great. You're great. You're greatly to be praised. There's nobody like you in the heavens or the earth. You're the only wise God, the King eternal, the everlasting one. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. You're the alpha, the omega. You're the beginning. You're the end. You're the first and the last. This is how you bless him. God, there's nobody like you. There's none beside you. Hallelujah. You are the only wise. God, I need somebody to bless him hallelujah hallelujah this is how you get your breakthrough this is how you overcome when you begin to magnify him this is why it's important to gather in the house of the lord this is why it's important to be consistent in the house the bible says oh magnify the lord with me see sometimes it's hard when we're by ourselves and we're going through it and there's all kinds of things that are coming against us it's hard to lift up our hands and praise him so every time i'm together and i'm in the house of god devil you messed up now you shouldn't have let me get in the house of God. You should have kept me away from the house of the Lord. You should have kept me bound and frustrated at home. But you didn't have that kind of control over me. You don't have that kind of power over me. This is why David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. He understood breakthrough was in the house. He understood deliverance was in the house. He understood, hallelujah, a spirit of power and love and a sound mind. Mind is in the house. I need somebody to clap your hands like, come on. Clap your hands like you slapping the devil. How about that? Clap your hands like you slapping the devil. See, some of you patty cake in the devil, and that's how we live in. You live in patty cake. You better slap that devil. You have no authority over me, over my family, over my life. You have, you have no control over me. Now, thanks be to God who gives us the victory. So we clap, y'all. We're not clapping, begging for the victory. God, help me, God. God, give me the victory. We're not clapping, begging for the victory. We're clapping from the perspective of victory. We're clapping from a platform of victory. Come, That's why we clap hard, y'all. All right? This is why we clap hard. This is why we, come on, this is why we have this kind of mentality. Come on, if God before us, we got to know he's more than the world against us. Y'all, I'm not just trying to pump you up. I'm trying to help you live and live victorious. All right? Bible says we are more, everybody say more than overcomers. Look at somebody and say, you are more than an overcomer. I need you to say it with some conviction. Come on, don't, don't, you're more than an overcomer. You didn't believe what you just said, all right? Look at them with conviction and say, you are more than an overcomer. 
All right? Why? It's no goodness of our own. It's no, no strength or might of our own. It's because, all right, we're more than overcomers through Christ Jesus who loves us. He loved us enough to give us the capacity, the ability to overcome through his grace, y'all. And this is why we stand here. This is why we making the devil mad. Big, everybody say big mad. We making the devil big mad right now. Why? Because we are clapping our hands and, and we are shouting to the glory of God. And the devil like, don't you got these issues going on? Don't you got all this stuff going on in your life? Everything falling apart. How dare you come in the house of God and praise him? What He ain't he, he trying to convince you that God ain't able. But see, some of you are getting a hold of the fact that now unto him who is able. He's able. Somebody say he's able. And come on, quit playing. Somebody shout it in faith and expectation. Come on, somebody shout, he's able. Now I want you to clap your hands for these last 30 seconds like he's able. Like he's able. I need you to clap like he's able. Come on, you, that's not a clap like he's able. That's not a clap. That's not a shout like you believe what you're saying, all right? That's not a clap that you believe in what God is, what, what you're asking God. That's not the kind of clap. We're getting there, but that ain't the kind of clap yet. That's not the kind of clap, all right? Some of you still doing it. We got 10 seconds. Some of you just doing it just to be doing it. For this last 10 seconds, I need you to clap with some expectation. I need you to clap with some anticipation. Hallelujah. Y'all, this ain't no show. Like, this ain't no show. Hallelujah. If we want to play church, you could have stayed at home and watched YouTube or something, all right? All right? This is, we, 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 we after the real thing, all right? We serve a real God because there's real devils. There's real challenges. There's real issues. And we didn't come here to play no games. I didn't come here, all right, to, to be buried, you know, burdened down with, with life's issues. And I didn't come here planning on leaving out the same way I came in. I came here looking for God. I came here looking for my miracle. I came here looking for God to deliver me, my family, my marriage. I'm looking for God to deliver my mind. I'm looking for God. All right, this is why we're here. The power of God's spirit is real. All right? The Holy Ghost is real, and this is why we preach him. This is why we talk about him. This is why we declare it. This is why Paul said in Romans 1, 16, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. Why? Because it is the power of God unto salvation. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that would believe. I'm stirred up, y'all. Look, I told you, I I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna preach long. All right. Look, but we were in a, we were in a tent revival these last two days. We were in a tent revival, and and God was just, God was just moving, and He was just stirring up, y'all. All right. And as I was just worshiping the Lord, Hallelujah, Amen. God dropped something in my spirit, and man, I hope y'all ready. Look, look at somebody say, "Don't play with God today." All right. Don't play with God today. Look, look at somebody else and say, don't play with God today. All right. Don't, eh, eh, look, don't play with God today. All right. All right. Look at somebody else and say, don't go through the motions today. Look at somebody else and say, don't go through the motions today. All right. All right. Hallelujah. <laughs> I had some things on my mind. We were worshiping. We were praising God in the tent, and it was powerful. 
And, you know, I was just thinking about some things that I want God and I'm believing God to do for our church and for, you know, uh, ministry things and business things and, and for my family and for, and for you. I'm praying and I'm worshiping God and, I, and I'm believing God. I'm believing God, and, and as, I'm, as I'm worshiping, God, God gave me two words. <laughs> he gave me two words. And when he gave me these two words, I, you know, that, that still small voice, that still small voice, I knew God was, I knew God was confirming some things. God don't miss, all right? Amen. And when God want to share a word with you, and, and he, said, he said these two words, I got encouraged, and then, you know, I, I was still thinking and talking to him, God, is that for me only, all right? Is that for me only? And then God, he assured me, all right? This is why I said, don't play with God today, all right? Don't go through the motions today, all right? Because God, is that just the word for me, or is that a word for all of us? And God assured me that he is no respecter of persons, all right? And so what God wants to do for one, all right, God wants to do for us all, all right. And so and so I had my own things that I've been believing God for and I've been praying to God for. I've been fasting and I've been seeking after him and I've been consecrating myself because, God, I'm believing. God, I believe you're going to do it. And I believe there's some of you in here that's been praying and you've been believing God and, and you've been wanting God to do some things in your life. And, and God gave me these two words and it just tore me up. Y'all saw me last night. Amen. I wasn't playing. I went, you know, normally, amen, b- people take moments and try to figure out when they do an altar call. You don't see too many times when, when, when preachers and pastors go to the altar call, y'all. You know, it's a, it shouldn't be like that. Don't get it twisted, right? But when, that, when, when Bishop Harry called that altar call, uh, <laughs> I'm here, G. I'm here. All right? I'm here. Because I heard what you just said, and, and I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. Everybody lift your hands on, right? Here's what God said. Here's what God said. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. And I want you to think about all the things you've been praying for. I want you to think about the things you've been, you've been believing God for. Hallelujah. When I tell you these two words, come on, it, it, it's going to quicken some of you that's been for real about this prayer. It's going to quicken some of you, hallelujah, that really believe in God. And, and here's what God said. You ready? If you're ready, say, I'm ready. God told me in my spirit as I'm sitting here and I'm worshiping, and, and it's not just for me, it's for all of us. God said, it's coming. God said, it's coming. God said, it's coming. He said, it's coming. Hallelujah. Come on, whatever you believe in him for, he said, it's coming. It's coming. Hallelujah. See, if you, if you got any kind of Holy Ghost sense, amen, you're not going to miss this moment right here. It's coming. 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 I dare you to praise him like it's coming. I dare you to praise him like it's coming. Come on. I dare you to praise him on the front end like it's coming. Because we're going to get into the word just right here in a, in a quick moment, all right? But I need you to praise him on the front end. I'm not waiting until it, it's here. I'm, I'm going to praise you now because I know it's coming. And because you said it, I don't, have to, I don't have to worry if you can cash it out. I know you can cash it out. It's coming. It's coming. Come on. It's coming. It's coming. I, if that was ever a word for the Lord, hey amen. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you been in this thing too long, far too long, all right? Some of you have been worried far too long. Some of you have been frustrated far too long. And you've been asking God. You've been seeking God. You've been, you've been seeking him for wisdom. You've been seeking him for the grace and the love. You've been seeking him, hallelujah, to uproot bitterness. You've been seeking him, hallelujah, hallelujah, to make a way out of no way. And you've been crying and you've been, you've been getting frustrated at times, hallelujah. But God said it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. But here, you can go ahead and have your seat. Because like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share a couple scriptures. All right? 
This, this is just, it's just that preheat right here. It's that preheat, all right? Like you preheat the oven, right? You, you preheating right now. It's coming. Then you're going to put that thing in the oven. We're going to put this thing in the oven right now with this word. And, 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 and in a minute, just a short minute, it's going to be ready, all right? And you're going to praise them like we lost our minds, all right? See, it's coming. Well, what does that mean, Pastor? You know, I ask God the same question. All right, God, it's coming. I believe you. But God, what do I need to do? Where do I need to go? How do I need to align myself? I don't want to miss it. I don't want it to come, and I'm not where I need to be. All right? And so in that moment, that's why I love God. He said, it's coming. He began to give me a word of wisdom. <laughs> I love how God works. Amen. He began to give me a word of wisdom, and he took my mind. He took me, amen, to Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. You can go ahead and go to Matthew chapter 8. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 8, the Holy Ghost took me, verse 5. Amen. I'm starting at verse 5. I'm going to read to verse 10. And I'm going to skip down to verse 13. Here's the wisdom in this. Everybody shout, it's coming. All right. And here's the word of wisdom. All right. This is what God is telling us to do. Matthew chapter 8, verse 5. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a satyrium beseeching him. That means he was begging him. He was, he was pleading with him. He was crying out to him. And saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of a palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. I will come and heal him. I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou should have come under my roof. But speak the word only. But speak the word only. But speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. For I'm a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go, and he goeth, and to another, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this. And he doeth it, he doeth it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to him, to them that follow, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. Skip down to verse 13. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the self-same hour. Somebody shout, it's coming. Somebody shout, it's coming. Look at somebody else and say, it's coming. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. By this time, you, you understand the theme tonight, right? This afternoon, I'm sorry. It's coming. It's coming. See, here's something you got to understand about God and God's word, y'all. When God speaks a thing, all right, when God speaks a thing, um, God doesn't have to wonder if it's going to come to pass, all right? God doesn't, he's totally confident in his word, all right? He is the word, right? John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was what? With God, and the word what? was God, right? The same was in the beginning with God, right? And so God is his word, God, right? God is like the Better Business Bureau, our business, right? You, you want that triple A, quadruple, how is it, triple A rating? What do they, what do those businesses seek for? Are they trip, do they seek for a triple A rating or what is that, right? Like no business likes complaints, 
right? Some of, some people, Lord help them, some people raggedy. We know we raggedy, right? Just be complaining about all kind of stuff, right? Trying to get free stuff. Be complaining about hotels and businesses and they did wrong restaurants so you don't got to pay for your stuff. Save folks don't do that, right? All right, we don't make up stuff to get a free meal, right? <laughs> All right, call into a corporate office, call in Better Business Bureau. You know what? And, and so, in a natural, that's natural. But, but God cares about his word, right? And, and, and God is not content with a, a double A rating. God's not content with an A rating. Okay, that means there's some marks on him, right? Businesses, they want that triple A rating. They, they want to they wanna have a perfect kind of rating so nobody can mark them. But obviously, when things are ran by people, there's always going to be marks. Somebody's going to always be disappointed in some kind of service. They're not going to always, um, you know, be 100% satisfied with how a business operates. But see, when it comes to God, amen, uh, God, he, he is so concerned about his word, all right? He is so concerned about his promises, and when he says he's going to do something, amen, God said, he said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need you to understand. I, I will destroy, I will cause heaven and the whole earth, everything to pass away, all right? Because I will not allow a mark to come on my, on my resume, right? It will never be a mark on God's resume, all right. He said, I'll cause heaven and earth to pass away before one tittle or tot of my word fail. Uh, come on, y'all. This is building faith, right? Because if you're going to really understand it's coming, and if you really believe it's from God, you got to understand God is not going to slip. God is not going to fall short on his word. God ain't going to forget and try to scramble. God don't have to scramble. It ain't nothing with God, you know, in, in sports, amen, a play break down and you got to scramble and try to figure something out and make a play. God don't have to figure and try to make a play. God is the play. God already got this thing figured out, all right? And we have to be content in that the Bible declares that his word is settled in the heavens. Y'all, heavens is infinite, y'all. There's no beginning or end to heaven, right? Amen. Uh, his word is settled even in the heavens. There, there's, there's no air to him. The Bible says God is light, right? All right? Light. Light speaks of wisdom and, and understanding. Light speaks of glory. Light speaks of revelation. God say, the Bible says God is light and there is no darkness. Everybody say no darkness. There's no darkness in him at all. Right. There's not even a little darkness. Right. We if we if we scope each other out long enough, if we hang around each other long enough, we can only fake for so long. All right. We can only we can you can only be messed with for so long. All right. You, you can do good for so long, but some people keep on. See, if, we, if you that great and can't nobody ever take you there and you can never you won't even have a thought to slap somebody. All right. Well, you might as well be on, go on, get on the glory, right? Because you perfected and you're ready. But since none of us is like that, right? And look at somebody and say, you still here, right? So, so, so we still have some flaws, right? We still have some, we still have some things God needs to work in us, right? We still have things that God needs to work out of us, right? Because only God is light and only God has no darkness in him at all. See, when you, you, that's why you got to read the scriptures. You got you to really fall in love with the scriptures. You got to really, amen, you really got to digest these scriptures and, and, and really let them rest in your heart as a man thinketh in his heart. So is he, all right? These, this word has to be settled in your heart. It's settled in the heavens. It's amazing how God's word is settled in the heavens. But for many believers, it's not settled in our hearts. It's amazing. God's word is settled in all of the heavens, but in our hearts, we find ourselves worrying. We find ourselves, we find ourselves doubting. We find ourselves, you know, disappointed in God sometimes. God, why ain't this? Why are you allow this? this? We just struggle with God because we don't understand him. 
We don't understand his word. We don't understand his ways. Amen. We don't understand the power and the authority of his word. It's something about God's word. Even in the beginning of time when God created the heavens and the earth in Genesis, right? The earth was without form and it was void and darkness was upon the face of the deep, the Bible says, right? And the spirit of God, the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And, and then you get around verse 3. He began to say some things, right? Uh, and God said something. God said something, all right? The Bible says, and, and God said, let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light, all right? And as soon as he spoke light, the Bible says, and there was light. God, God said, let there be light, and there was light. See, see some, it ain't settled in your heart yet. It ain't settled in some of your hearts yet. God said, let there be light, and there was light. Some of we, we ain't, I think we're getting a little closer on the mic. We're we getting a little closer. We ain't fully understanding. See, when God says something, God was confident. It, it was done. It was, it was, it's happened. When God speaks a thing, all right, let there be light. God didn't have to, you know, Jerry, I, I hope light comes, all right. Uh, I hope it, you know. Now, when he says it, he didn't have to worry. He didn't have to wonder, all right, if light was going to show up. He didn't have to worry if he said something. He didn't have to worry if it was going to really happen. Some of you getting it. Some of you get to see some of you've been praying this week. Some of you've been praying this week, and, and, and it's kind of resonating with you, but all right, we need a little more to resonate, all right? See, when God said, let there be light, and there was light. God said, let there be light, and there was light. It's, yeah, I got it, all right? If you got it, say, I got it. All right, I, I want to make sure. I, I got to make sure that we understand that point, all right? Because when God says something, it happens. All right, he, he, he controls everything. He's sovereign, right? He's all-powerful, all-knowing. He's omnipotent, omniscient, you know? He knows all things. He controls everything. And when he speaks something, it has to come to pass. Let's go quickly, Isaiah. Isaiah, quick, 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 quick. Isaiah. This ain't Bible study. No, nah, we, we need to see the word. We need to see the word. Isaiah 55, quick, 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 Isaiah 55. <clears throat> Look at verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Verse 8. Neither are my ways your ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, <laughs> and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither. That means it comes down, it ain't going back up. It, it's coming down. Purpose. But water of the earth and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Verse 11, so shall my word. As the rain and the snow comes down, it doesn't return the up back, right? As it, but it comes down to help bring forth, right? It bud, it, it gives us seed, all right, so that we can get increased, we can prosper, we can thrive, right? That's what rain and snow does, and bread to the eater. So shall my word. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. See, when I say something, it shall not return unto me void. All right? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't write bad checks, God is saying, all right? When I, when I write a check, God saying, you don't have to worry if it's going to cash out or not, sometimes somebody give you a check and you're like, ah, I hope this, I hope this cash, just cash at me instead, right? We ca Cash at me instead. <laughs> Venmo, right? We don't want to take a check. 
But when God writes a check, all right, when God writes a check, you don't have to worry about it. It don't matter how big it is. It don't matter how big the problem. It doesn't matter how big the prayer is. When God writes a check, you don't got to worry if God is able. The Bible says, so, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish. Everybody say, it shall accomplish. It shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall, everybody say, it shall prosper. Uh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. It shall prosper. All right. Amen. Uh, and the thing whereto I sent it. See, we have to get this word in our hearts. This is why the Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence. We got to guard our hearts. Why? Because the devil will cloud our hearts with all kind of doubt and fear and, and, and unfaithfulness and, you know, and all kinds of things that bring heaviness on us so that we will not get a hold of God's word. Right? So the, the Bible says, thy word, thy word, thy word, your word, all right? Um, have I hid in my heart? See, we're, we're so, oh, Jesus, I hear your Holy Ghost. We, we hide everybody else's word in our heart. We hide, every, every, we hide our own carnal thoughts and worries and fears in our hearts. How do you know? Because that's what drives us, right? What, what, the, the feelings you feel is what's driving you. You feel guilt and worry and shame and depression. That is the thoughts, that's, that's the thoughts we're hiding in our hearts. The Bible says, thy word have I hid in my heart. I hear, I'm protecting. I will fight you over this word. I'm going to fight whatever things are trying to rip this word out of me. The word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. All right? That I may not sin against you. All right? I'm, I'm, I'm halfway done right now. All right? All right, Lord. Everybody say it's coming. It's coming. Everybody say it's coming. You got to understand. You got to believe without a shot. I'm so excited, y'all. I was jumping last night. I was jumping. Y'all don't know. See, I don't know why y'all was praising him. Uh, those who was there, we had a great time. But you didn't know why I was praising him. I was praising him because he was in my spirit talking about it's coming. It's coming. All right? And it began, and he let me know this is not just for me, but it's for all of you. He said, it's coming. And so I was excited. And so it's why it's important to get a hold of this. We got to get a hold of faith. We got to get a hold of his word, y'all. Let me tell you, that's why the centurion, this is why Jesus was so, he was so, you know, just, he was just so excited about the centurion, all right? He had an issue. He had a challenge, right? He had a, a servant that was sick unto death on a palsy, right? And, and he didn't want him to die, obviously, so he's crying out to Jesus. He's crying out, come help him, save him, come on, deliver him, restore his life. Jesus said, I will come, I'll come, i come. Right, but then he started thinking about what he got going on in his life. Oh, I'm raggedy, Jesus. I don't know about you come to my house. House ain't clean. Uh, bathrooms, the kids pee all on the toilet seat. I don't, I don't know. I, you can't come to my house. Can't come to my house, right? Everybody sometimes, you know, you get caught sometimes, right? Hey, I'm about to come over. Nah, you can't come over today. Not a good day, right? <laughs> right? The Tyrion like, nah, you can't come over today, Jesus. Nah, I, I got too much going on in my house. But because I, I, I know something about you, I, I, I know, all right? And he gave him an illustration. Like, I, hey, I, I, I'm a, a man of authority. I'm under authority. I have people under me. And so I understand, I understand alignment. I understand authority, all right? And so, and, when, and I understand even for me in a natural sense, the centurion is saying, if I tell somebody to do something, I don't have to be by them for them to go do it. I can tell the one under me and he can tell somebody three or four under him. And, and because what I said from the top and it goes down, they're going to do what I tell them to do. Right? Things are going to move because there's an order, there's authority, and he understood the authority even in the natural. And there was something that he was correlating about God. He's seeing Jesus. He's like, hold on, you're not just a regular person. 
You're not just a regular person, all right? You, you, are, uh, you are beyond normal. You are supernatural. You have to come from heaven. And if you're coming from heaven, that means, that means you have to be of God. You have to be from God. And so I, I see an order here. I, I see, uh, I, I, I can imagine him seeing that God, Jesus right here in his midst, he is the manifest presence of the living God. Y'all, he saw some authority. He saw some order here. The Bible said for God, right, he manifests himself in flesh. And so he saw something about this God. The Bible declares Jesus, he is the express image of the invisible God. And so, and so he sees this image. God is a spirit. You can't see a spirit, but I see Jesus, and Jesus is not a regular person. So this has to be an express image of God. And so, and so Jesus is doing all of these things and open eyes of blind and, and causing lame folks to get up and walk, and he is healing leprosy, and he is doing all of these miracles and, and, and feeding 5,000 folks with, with two fish and five loaves. Jesus is doing some miraculous things. There has to be some. He has to be under authority somewhere. And I believe he, he, he understood. God began to give him a revelation. Oh, this is the Christ, the son of the living God. So the, the son of God, this is why the Pharisees and the church folks were trying to kill Jesus all the time. How, how dare you? How dare you to, to act like and to, to make it like you are the son of God? Well, I am. I, uh, what you mean? But, but man, so and because they understood if you uh, make yourself the son of God, that makes you as a God, that makes you equal to God. And so they were like, hold on, man, something, we got to kill you because you messing up our religious. You, you, you're messing with our tradition. All right. You're trying to establish a new order up in here. And, and we're used to being the order. We're used to uh, uh, everyone looking at us about, about how good we are and how great we are. And now you're coming in under authority that's bigger and beyond our capacity of, to understand. And we ain't trying to submit to that authority. We want to keep doing things our way. Amen. Uh, but you're trying to do a new thing. You're talking about the kingdom of God. And, and we want to have our own kingdom. But the centurion. He's like, all right, oh, there's a different kind of order here, all right? And, 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 and because he believed that kind of order, he believed in Christ. He believed. He believed. Amen. He said, no, nah, you can't come to my house, but just send your word. 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 All right? And, and everything's going to be all right. My servant's going to be healed. Just send your word. See, that was the word of wisdom that God gave me, all right? That was the word of wisdom. See, it ain't complicated. It ain't overly hard to get what you need from God, amen. God gave us a word of wisdom. If you want to believe that it's coming, amen, God said, just send the word. See, see, that's the word of wisdom. You got to send the word. You got to send the word. That means you, that's why the Bible says, oh, God. Study. How do you spell Study. S T U D study S study study all the kids say study all right well pastor this is the weekend we don't study on the weekends we don't study it ain't school bible says study to show yourself approved unto god a workman right not needing to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, right? If I say study. study. See, with some tears, you have to understand something. He studied, right? There was something about God's word that he began to get an understanding of. And so that's why he can say, just send your word. And then he believed when, that when you send your word, amen, it's coming. <laughs> when you send your word, it's coming. And I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> we're, getting a little, we're getting a little warmer, all right? You know, you know, I like to play hot and cold, right? We, we get a little warmer, right? We get a little warmer now. It's, it's heating up just a little bit in here, Brother Rodriguez. It's heating up a little bit more, all right? The Turium knew that if you send the word, it's coming. If you send the word, it's coming. <laughs> See? I, I, I pray, I pray we don't miss this. I pray we don't miss this. 
All right. I pray we get a hold of this word of wisdom right now. All right. Because in a moment we're going to we're going to send the word. All right. We're going to send the word. We're going to send up a praise. We're going to send up faith and and we're going to believe it's coming. All right. All right. And we're not we're not going to just keep on believing like well and in and, and, and the back of our mind. Well, how long that's going to take? You know how it is. <laughs> We're trying to figure out, well, how long that going to be? Now nah, we're not even going to worry about how long it's going to be. We're just going to stand on it's coming. It's coming. Look, I was, I was at Bethel, Stanley Strader, and that was Bethel, man, y'all, Bethel. Everybody say Bethel. Bethel is what it is. That's what I, right, to help me. I'm, I, I got to come to grips with that. I was at Bethel. I was in the weight room. Um, this brother, I never met him before. He came in the center. <clears throat> came in the center. Somebody had referred him to me to come talk to Go talk to Mr. Deard, all right? He needed a job and some stuff. So uh, he came in the center. He came to talk to me, all right? And, and when he got in the center, uh, you know, I was in the weight room. We were in the weight room. We were talking, and he began to tell me about, you know, some stuff he got going on, how he needed a job, and blah, blah, blah. And then he began to tell me about his, um, his girl who was at home. His girl was at home. And he, was, he began to tell me about the sickness that she had. Uh, she had a sickness in her body that, that was causing her to, to you know, all, everything she takes down, it would, it would come right back out, come right back out. And it was going on for months, months, three, four months, uh, that she couldn't hold down anything. She was really sick. She couldn't walk because it was so sick, and her stomach was just so, uh, so tore up. Uh, that kept her bent over, and she would keep going back to the doctor and different things with her, uh, and they were trying to figure out what was going on, and they honestly, they really couldn't figure it out, so they tried to give her different medicines every time, and it just, stuff wasn't working, and so, and so she was just so bound up, messed up, he was just telling me about it, and so, and so we began to, we just talked about it, so let's pray, let's pray, all right, and so I've been praying for him, we prayed, you know, for a job and other things, and then, and then I, I prayed for his, his friend, his lady friend, I prayed for her, you know, Lord, you know, I never met her, I don't know, but I said, Lord, I, I believe you can heal her, God, I believe you will, you want to heal her, all right, and, and so I spoke a word, you know, we prayed, and, we, and he believed, and, you know, he believed, because he, they were in a desperate place, you know, and they didn't, uh, you know, he had no choice but to, you know, grab a hold of this, because he just, he was just in a very, you know, a very urgent kind of place in his spirit, and so he leaves, he leaves, and um, I didn't hear from him. I didn't hear from him for about two days, all right? I didn't hear from him. And, and then two days later, he comes back in the center, right? He came back in the center, and he was just toe up. He was toe up. And he came back. He was like, man, D, he was like, guess what happened? You wouldn't believe what happened, right? And, and he told me, he said, when he left Bethel that day, that weight room, right, and he went home to his friend. He said, he said within that, how was it, only a few hours or so, he said she literally just got up. He said she got up. I don't got to make stuff up. Just, God, God's word is real. I don't got to, really somebody like, oh, well, is she real? No, she got up. She got up so good and so healed that, that he, ran, he came back to Bethel. He was like, he looking at me like, he trying to bow. And he like, man, what is, you, what is you? I'm like, bro, I'm not God. Chill, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was like really toe up. He like, he like dude. And so, and so, man, that was an opening for him, right? Because God absolutely healed her. Healed her 100%. Boom. Healed her. Right, and she's up walking, healed, and they just thrown back. He and he back in the in the room, Bethel. Man, I prayed for him. He was heart was so open. God filled him with the Holy Ghost. Boom. Right. Y'all saw they came, they came ever, you know, and so uh and we seen this girl, right? We had to do a whole live, right? We did a whole Facebook live about it. It's in the archives, y'all. Um, but but I mean I'm telling you how God moves, how God works. It's all about sending a word, it's all about believing in this word. The Bible says all things are possible. Ever say all things. All things are possible to them that believe, all right? See, with man, it's impossible, but with God, all things, everybody say all things. All, see, I, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here, all right? But if you're really going to believe this, all right, if you're really going to believe it's coming, here, here, is, here, here is a word of advice. Now, I gave you a word of wisdom, right? 
send that word, all right? We're going to send our word. Now, here, I'm closing right here. We're going to give, I'm going to give you a word of advice. Y'all ready? See, see, this is, dang, God's taking me back. He's taking me to 2 Kings chapter, all right, 2 Kings 13. You have the prophet Elisha. Everybody say Elisha, all right? You got Elijah, and then you have Elisha. This is Elisha, all right? Elisha is, 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 heading towards his deathbed. He's about to go on to glory. And, and Elisha is, is, is um, he's with the king of Israel. And the king of Israel is, is freaking out. He is having a whole panic attack. Elisha, you cannot die. You cannot leave me. You cannot, you cannot leave me here. Elisha said, all right, let me help you out. Because there was something about the Israel, king of Israel. They, were, had, they had enemies, right? They had enemies and, and, and they had challenges. And so he said, here, listen, I need you to go to the east window. Go to the east window. And, and I need you to open the window. Actually, this is a word of wisdom. Here's another word of wisdom. All right? All right? I gave you the first word of wisdom. What's the first word? Send the word. Everybody say, send the word. The second, the second word of wisdom, he said, he said, open the east window. And I want you to take the bow and arrow. And I want you to point it out, all right, to, to the, the enemies in the direction of your enemies. And I want you to shoot the arrow out the east window. So the Bible says he took the arrow, the bow and arrow, and then Elisha put his hand on top of his hand. And he pulled the arrow and he shot it out the east window. And the Bible declares it was the arrow of God's deliverance. It's the arrow of God's deliverance. And so now uh, he, wanted, he wanted to seal it with a praise. Elisha wanted to seal it with a praise. See, this is where half of y'all, and I pray you don't mess up right here, all right? Because we're done. All right, go ahead and stand to your feet. We're done. I'm telling you, we're done. See, this is where I, I, I hope half of us don't mess up. All right, because he put his hand on his hand and they shot the arrow out the east window. All right. And it was the arrow of God's delivery. He shot it out the window and it was a symbolic of. All right. Now you shot this out here and I put my hand. It's a representation of God's hand on your hand. All right. It's a representation of you allowing God to fight for you. And if you believe in that God is going to help you. So he put his hand on his hand and he shot the arrow and it went out the east window. And then he said, I want you to put a praise on it. So he said, I want you to take your bow and arrow, and I want you to, I want you to stamp the ground. I want you to stamp the ground. Take your bow and arrow. Everybody take your bow and arrow. And I want you to, on the ground. Take your bow and arrow and stamp it on the ground. Come on, y'all. Come, look, y'all. Everything's in faith. This ain't nothing. Everything's in faith. This is, this is an act. Everybody take your boy. And See what happened here, and this is where some of you are going to mess up. Some of you are going to mess up right here. All right? Because the king of Israel, he took the arrow, and the Bible says he, he smacked the ground three times. The prophet was furious with him. The prophet was mad as life. Everybody say he was big mad. He was big mad, all right? The prophet was big mad at him because you only smote the ground three times. He said you should have smote the ground five or six times. See, this is where some of you are going to mess up because we're going to send the word and then we're going to send a praise. But see, some of y'all are only going to give a half praise. And you're only going to get a half deliverance. He told, uh, he told the king of Israel, see, because you didn't smite the ground five or six times, because you didn't unload all of your arrows and give everything you had in faith, you're only going to get three victories. See, some of you, you ain't going to get a full victory. You ain't going to get full deliverance, amen, because you only give God a half praise. You only give God a half commitment. You only give God, you know, when it feels good and when it's, everything is going in your favor. This is the word of wisdom right here, all right? See, we're going to send up a word, and then we're going to send up a praise, all right? Hallelujah. And, and, and the arrow of God's deliverance, hallelujah, is going to rest on your house. It's going to rest over your issues and business, and God's going to see about you, and God's going to turn some things around, and God's going to make way out of no way. But that's only going to be for the ones, amen, that won't give them a half praise. 
I'm telling you, everybody shout it's coming. Everybody shout it's coming. But see, it's only coming for those. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says, Hebrew 11 and 6, without faith, it's impossible to please God. All right? It's impossible to please him. They that come to him must believe that he is, and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek after him. God is not rewarding half praise. God is not rewarding half prayer, all right, half, cons- you know, half consistent, half faithful. God is not rewarding that stuff. If you're going to believe that it's coming and everything you're praying for and everything you're believing God for, amen, you're going to send this word up in faith. You're going to believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek after him, and you're going to give him a praise out this world. Y'all, this is why praise is everything. This is why even before we go through battles, he said, you got to send Judah first. You got to send praise first. You're going to send that, or you got to send praise up. And now you sent that praise up. Now you can walk in this thing knowing God's hand is on me. God's hand is on my family. His hand is on my children. His hand is on my marriage. His hand is on my finances. Come on. And I'm shooting that arrow. I'm declaring the victory because God's hand is on it. Amen. And now I seal it with a praise. I seal it with a praise. And I'm going to keep praising him. And I'm going to praise him from the depth of my heart. How, oh, that man will praise the Lord. This first 60 seconds, I just want you to lift your hands and I want you to send the word. Send a word. Send a word. Send a word. Come on, meet us at the altar. Come on, I want you to send the word right now. Send the word. Send the word. Send the word. Hallelujah. Exodus 15 and 3. God is a man of war. The Lord is his name. God will fight for you. God will see about you. There's nothing that God can't do. There's nothing that he can't conquer. There is nothing that can hinder God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for making things right in your life. Come on. You got to send the word. Well, I don't, I don't know what to say, to say God is able. God is able. Hallelujah. That's a word right there. God is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power that works in us in a word. Come on. You've been praying and you've been crying out and you've been and you've been struggling. Come on. It's time to send the word. It's time to know that when you send this word, God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. God will follow through with his promises. God will not fail. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is the Lord God and he changes not. The same God that delivered Moses, the same God that delivered Joshua, the same God that delivered the judges, the same God that delivered the prophets, the same God that delivered Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and Peter, the same God that delivered Luke, the same God, hallelujah, that delivered our forefathers is the same God that's ready and here right now to deliver you. Where are you, son and daughter? Send up a word. Send up a word. Come on, make sure you send up a word because it's not going to do any good to praise him if you didn't send up a word. It's not going to do you any good if you didn't put any seed in this crown. Hallelujah. Come on, send up this word in faith. You've got to believe without a doubt that I'm sending up this word and I'm believing God. I'm believing God. It may not look like it, but I'm believing God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Elijah, Elijah, hallelujah. We've been having some conversations, and even last night, God put another part on me. Hey, man, it was, we were at the altar. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. And, 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 and Bishop Harris was, he was he, a senior. He was helping, and he was serving um, uh, the junior, his son, the fourth, he was serving him, and he was helping him, hallelujah, hallelujah, I'm giving you a word of prophecy, I'm I'm confirming this thing, amen, because in the midst of dad serving the son, amen, the Holy Ghost put my mind right to, he said, you're going to serve Elijah just like that, you're going to be with him, hallelujah, while you're out, amen, while you're out doing crusades, God said, I'm going to, I'm going to help you, and I said, my God, hallelujah, I want you to, I want you to send up a word, amen, it's already 
done. It's already done. Hallelujah. How y'all don't understand. See, five years ago, I, I would never thought it would be like that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But God sent me a word some years ago, and he let me know what the end, what it's going to be like. Amen. And I stopped worrying about it. I stopped crying about it. I just believed God, and I sent up a word, and I gave him a praise. Amen. And let me tell you, after a while, he that shall come, he will come, and he will not tear. God will answer prayer. God will see about your people. I never seen the righteous forsaken, David said, nor his seed begging bread. Hallelujah. Make sure you say I'm giving us time to send up a word. I'm giving us time to send up a word because it's coming. It's coming. Hallelujah. And for this next, this next 120 seconds, amen. Hallelujah. That's two minutes, amen. Ha we're going to praise God like no end. We're going to open up our mouths. We're going to sing and we're going to praise him with a loud voice, amen. That's a word, of, that's another word of wisdom. Come on. God said, praise me with a loud voice, amen. All you mind reader praisers, God ain't, God ain't in that, amen. He said, praise me with a loud voice. If you want to hear you want to experience what's coming in the spirit into the natural, you got to praise him with a loud voice. God said it's coming. It's already in the spirit realm. We pull it down into our world, the earthly realm, through our praise and faith and confidence in God. It's coming. Here it is. Come on, people. I feel faith now. I feel faith, and I love it. I mean, we don't, we don't have an organ. We don't have a piano player right now, amen, that can try to stir up an atmosphere and help us. I know when we get one, it's going to be a lot better. But right now, this is all us. This is all us. Amen. We're singing our own song. We're making a joyful noise. Oh, ye land. Come on. We're singing right now. Here it is right now. We're going to praise him. We're sending up a praise. We're not going to have praise you. We're not going to shoot three times. We're not going to miss this thing. We're not going to miss this train. We're not going to miss this opportunity. It's coming. And I receive it. And I believe it. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's here. It's coming. I need you to praise him. I need you to open your mouth. I need you to open your mouth. Come on. You got to believe God. You got to believe God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to believe him. You got to believe him. God is able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. And you can do all things right now. Come on. You can do all things. The thing you prayed for, the thing you've been doubting God, you can do all things through Christ which strengthen you. I dare you to put a praise on it. Come on, that ain't, that ain't 120 seconds. Come on, come on, where are you, son or daughter? Hallelujah. You've been believing God right now. Hallelujah. And you want this breakthrough. You want this breakthrough, but you're not in covenant with God. Today is your day. You ought to run up here or wave your hand. Hallelujah. You ought to wave your hand right now. God, it's me. I want, I want my sins washed away. I want to go down in Jesus' name because, God, I don't want to miss this train. I don't want to miss this blessing. I don't want to miss this next move of God. But, God, I got sins on my life. But God, I'm ready. I'm ready to confess my sin to you. God, I heard, God, God, that I can be buried with you in baptism. And as far as the east is from the west, God, as far as you cast our sins from before your presence, God, I need my sins washed away. Where are you, son and daughter? This is your day. Today is your day. You can be free. Would you be free? Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood of Jesus. Come on, where are you, son? Where are you, daughter? Wave your hand if that's you. I want to go down in the water. We have water right here. We have clothes here. You can go down in Jesus' name. You can go down and come up in the newness of life. You can come up free from the power of sin. You can come up. Somebody in here right now, you need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Some of you have been having mind battles. Some of you have been having heartaches. Some of you have been feeling all kinds of ways. Let me tell you, the power of the Holy Ghost is here right now, and he can deliver your whole life. The power of God. Come on, I need somebody to praise for a soul that's seeking right now. Come on, I need you to praise. Hallelujah. This ain't the atmosphere to be embarrassed. It's not the atmosphere to be ashamed. We all had to come this way. We all had to come this way. Hallelujah. But I know a God who is rich in mercy. And it didn't matter how far away we are. His arm is not short that he couldn't reach down and save. Neither is his ear heavy that he could not hear us. 
Come on. Come on. He's here right now. He's here right now. Where are you? Where are you? Come on, people of God. What do you believe in God for? Come on. Come on. Let's believe him. Let's clap our hands. Let's clap our hands. Let's clap our hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Where are our prayer partners at? Come on, prayer partners. If you, if you want us to touch and agree with you real quick, come up here. Come up here. Wave your hands or wave your hands. We'll come to you. We'll come to you. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. This is you, and, and God is on your heart. He's pressing on your heart, and you want to come out of sin. You want your sins washed away. You want to walk in the newness of life. Hallelujah. God will help you. God will help you. Where are you? Where are you? Hallelujah. It's coming, y'all. I'm telling you, it's coming. It's coming. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. My God, my God, my God. I got you. Hallelujah, Jesus.
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, you are mighty, oh God. You are worthy. Oh God, hallelujah, Jesus, there's nobody like you, oh God. You are the Alpha, the Omega, oh God, the beginning, the end, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, oh God. Oh God, we need you right now, Jesus. Send your spirit, oh God. Send your power, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We are nothing without you, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, oh God. Oh God, we ask, oh God, that you don't take your spirit from us, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Don't take your face from us, oh God. Hallelujah, we ask, oh God, that you renew a right spirit within us, oh God. Anything that is unlike you, oh God, remove move it oh god oh god help us oh god to stand firm on your word oh god and what you said oh god to believe oh god that if you said it oh god it shall come to pass oh god hallelujah hallelujah jesus oh god hallelujah we know oh god that you are able oh god that you are worthy oh god that you are a rewarder oh god of them that diligently seek you oh god hallelujah it's me oh god it's us oh god standing in the need of prayer oh god we're seeking you right now oh god hallelujah jesus oh god don't leave us oh god we ask, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh God, help us to be believers of your word, oh God. Increase our faith, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh God, hallelujah, help our unbelief, oh God. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Oh God, help us to know that if it's in your word, oh God, it will come to pass, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh Oh, God, music. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you, oh, God, for who you are. We thank you for your spirit, oh, God. We thank you, oh, God, for your word, oh, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh, God, for your instructions, oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, thank you for being so mindful of us, oh, God. Hallelujah. Thank Thank you, oh God, for your grace and your mercy, oh God, your compassions, oh God, that fell us not, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh God, we honor you, oh God. We exalt you, oh God. We worship you, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh God, we thank you right now. We thank you right now. We thank you, oh God, for what you're gonna do, oh God. We thank you in advance, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus, oh God, for the things, oh God, that haven't come to pass yet, oh God, but we know that you've said it, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Oh, God, we pray, oh, God, for anyone, oh, God, hallelujah, Jesus, any secret requests, oh, God. Anything, oh God, that only is between you and them, oh, God, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, give them the courage, oh, God, to cry out to you, oh, God. The courage, oh, God, to repent before you, oh, God. The courage, oh, God, to say it's me, oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I haven't done all the things, oh, God, that you've commanded me to do, oh, God. I haven't decided, oh, God, to walk upright, oh, God. But here I am, Lord. Here I am today, oh, God, asking, oh, God, for you to change me, oh, God. Make me different than I was before I came, oh, God. Hallelujah. Jesus transform me from the inside oh God forgive me oh God for the times oh God that I was disobedient oh God forgive me oh God for the times oh God when I didn't listen oh God for the times oh God when I ignored you oh God for the times oh God when I decided to go my own way oh God forgive me Jesus oh God make me brand new today oh God hallelujah hallelujah Jesus oh God, make me brand new, oh God. Transform me, oh God. Change me, oh God. I don't want to walk out, oh God, the same way that I walked in, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Help me to see you, oh God. Help me to see that it's always been you, oh God. Help me to see that all along it was you, oh God. It was you that stopped it. It was you that blocked it. It was you that kept me, oh God. It was you that woke me up this morning, oh God. It was you that lifted my hands, oh God. It was you that gave me a praise on the inside, oh God. It was you that gave me joy. It was you that gave me strength. It was you that made my limbs move. It was you that gave me breath, oh God. It was you, it was you, it was you. It's always been you. It's always been you. Oh God, help me to rely on you. Help me to trust you. Help me to look to you. Oh, God, help me to come to you, to cry to you, oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you, oh, God, for who you are. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your spirit. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come, let's go ahead and stand as we dismiss. Before we dismiss, we got a soul over here. This young man, y'all, he came here today. He ready to make that commitment, y'all. He ready to make up his mind. And he said, I want to go down in that water. He said, I want my sins washed away. All right? This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Come on. God is doing some things. God is rest restoring family and teenagers and young folks and old folks. Come on. God is doing what God does best. And we can do better than that, y'all. This soul, hallelujah. Young person, young person, all right? Hallelujah. So uh, we're going to get him prepared. And as we get him prepared for water baptism, y'all, amen. We can't help but um, do another celebration as we close out, all right? You, you know, when I saw this lady, she was too pretty to look at. You was pretty too, A.B., you was a baby, right? Well, she was too pretty to even look at, y'all. And so um, uh, we're grateful for her, which I got to understand, y'all. Um, you know, a lot of times people celebrate pastors and all that kind of stuff, but, but pastors need somebody to dump off on. <laughs> pastors need somebody to, who, who can listen to them and, and help them, right? You know, and, and, and so um, Lady Valerie, she has been tremendous for us, Um she is she is helpful beyond measure y'all she is everything and so y'all y'all know my testimony i said god if you give me a wife i will never leave you uh you know 20 years 20 i'm scared i will i don't want to find out what it is like right and so you know she's great and so tomorrow's her birthday 9 11. see i messed up you know 23 years ago on her birthday because <laughs> 9-11 hit and to help her. <laughs> she want to go out, right? She want to have dinner. She want to hang out. I mean, she was young, right? But it's 9-11. It's 9-11, right? We like, we like, uh, we watching buildings crack and crumble and all kind of stuff happen. She wasn't that bad, y'all. She, you know, I did, we did do some, something nice. But our, our minds and focus was on what was going on even back then. But um, her birthday's tomorrow, 9-11, y'all. She, um, remember, A, hey, flip the, the candles. She, 20, 24 today. <laughs> the candle cake gonna say 24 today, but we, we know, right? We know, but she gonna be 24 today. All right, praise God. She's got her nice hair. Yeah, look, hair done. Look, 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 man, she look good. Y'all, let's, let's clap our hands for her, y'all. She's, tomorrow's her birthday. Let's sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Lady Valerie. Happy birthday to you. All right, so. We got cards and stuff. If you didn't sign her card, sign her card. Um, if you want to leave her a, a, a blessing, leave her a blessing, y'all. You know, it's a blessing to give, all right? Her, yeah. What's your cash out? I'm always giving. It's just automatic. 
VRM8903. All right. If y'all want to be a blessing, be a blessing. We thank God for those that cook some stuff. I mean, my, he cooked it up, y'all. So we got some good food. All right. You know, you know when he cooking, it's going to be on. And that, that tea that's going to send us to uh, Community North. All right. But we got some, we got all that. We got snacks, candy, all that stuff, y'all. And so let's celebrate. Let's have a good time of fellowship. But don't, don't get too much, y'all. We got we to gotta baptize. Our, that's, that's most important, all right? All right. That's, that's number one. All right. God bless you. Uh, what's the scripture? Let the words of my mouth be acceptable in thy sight. Now we got to do it again. That was tacky. That was tacky. I was thinking of the other scripture. Uh, what's the other one? Nah. May the Lord watch. See, we don't do that scripture because that's like you got an enemy, right? That, that scripture is about an enemy, right? May the Lord watch between you and me. When, you know, and so it's like you better watch yourself, big God. So we don't do that scripture, all right? Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts. Be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Sunday school. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. God bless. Hey, y'all, don't leave. We got a lot of food. Come on. We got to eat this food. Come on, my brother. We're going to take him, and, and we're going to take care of him. Huh? <laughs>